Greetings from uh, World Meteorological Organization in Geneva. First, I would like to congratulate UPU uh, for, for this, uh, this event that you are organizing. Uh, UPU, WMO and ITU, we are the oldest uh, UN agencies. Um, somebody might say that we are even, even the fossils. But I'm happy that you are, you are now dealing with the young people and, and, and I would like to uh, con congratulate the laureates of this, uh, this uh, prize that, uh, which you are winning based on this, uh, this competition. And uh, the issue that you have been dealing with is very, very important. Uh, climate change is the biggest threat uh, for the welfare of mankind uh, this uh, century and hopefully not for the coming, coming centuries. Uh, either. Uh, uh, at the moment, uh, we have just uh, passed this uh, COVID-19 pandemic, which was having big impacts on our everyday life. And at the moment, the war in Ukraine is having big, big impacts uh, on uh, life in Europe, but especially it's having big impacts on life uh, uh, in, in less developed countries. Uh, we have difficulties with uh, food security and uh, fertilizers. Uh, and it's also hitting the economies of, uh, of, of countries and, and, and people. But climate change is a, is, is a major issue and, uh, and the WMO has been just reporting that uh, many indicators of climate change, uh, they are moving in the wrong, wrong direction. Uh, we, we are always breaking records in, in greenhouse gas concentrations, uh, temperatures, uh, ocean temperatures, uh, sea level rise, melting of glaciers, and, uh, and, and also we have started seeing more extreme events, uh, uh, flooding like now in Pakistan, uh, drought in Europe, uh, in Eastern Africa, China, uh, and also uh, Western part of the uh, United States, uh, and, and drought. So, so these uh, problems are getting worse and worse. But uh, luckily we have also hope. So we have uh, started acting against the climate change uh, uh, there are already 32 countries which have reduced their emissions during the past uh, 15 years, especially European countries, but also USA, Japan, Singapore and several other countries have, have been able to reduce their emissions. And we are no more heading towards three, uh, 3 to 5 degrees warming, which was uh, the message from IPCC report in 2014. At the moment we are heading to, towards 2.5 to 3 degrees uh, warming. That means that we still have to enhance our ambition level to reduce the emissions and, uh, and, and we are lucky that we have better means for, for that. We have much cheaper wind energy and solar energy than, than before. And also the, the prices of electric vehicles, they are getting lower and, uh, and they are very attractive for consumers. And then we could also favor a more uh, a vegetarian diet, uh, which would also help us to, to tackle this hunger challenge that we are having, having, having worldwide. So there's hope, but we need to enhance the, the ambition level. And you young people, you are key players. You have to tell your parents and, and of course, in your everyday behavior, you can also show us older ones uh, example. And uh, while I have been interacting with the young people, uh, I have been pos positively surprised uh, how much they are taking these issues into account in their everyday life. So, so with these words, I would like to congratulate you for this, uh, this uh, as, as laureates of this, uh, this prize. And, uh, and, um, and I would like to thank UPU for the opportunity to address you. And, uh, and also the postal area is, is one area where you can reduce uh, emissions uh, by having, having new means of, uh, of, uh, of transportation. Uh, less, uh, less uh, fossil fuel based uh, transportation and also these electric uh, means offer, electronic means offer new opportunities for, for your business. And I'm, I'm sure that that's already very much uh, happening. But we are uh, happy for the partnership with UPU and, uh, and I'd like to wish you all all the best also for this uh, celebration. Thank you.